Hey Maryland, the Virginia-based energy corporation Dominion Resources is planning something big for this state. To the tune of $3.8 billion, Dominion wants to convert the natural gas import facility at Cove Point into a massive liquefied natural gas export operation. And as Dominion frames it, it's a sweet deal for Maryland because of the jobs and tax revenue it will generate. Right? That's not the whole story. LNG exports from Cove Point mean a lot for Maryland and the entire Mid-Atlantic that Dominion would prefer to keep quiet. The natural gas Dominion wants to export comes from hydraulic fracturing or fracking, a process linked to groundwater contamination and high levels of methane pollution. Once extracted, that gas has to be sent across the Mid-Atlantic through a series of pipelines and compressor stations running straight through our towns and farmlands. Finally, at Cove Point, the gas will have to be liquefied with the help of a utility-grade power station and poured onto gigantic LNG tankers waiting in the Chesapeake Bay. It isn't until the gas is shipped around the world, revaporized, and piped again before it's finally lit on fire for energy. Add it all up, and Dominion's Cove Point facility will become the worst greenhouse gas polluter in all of Maryland, while the facility itself will generate only 75 permanent jobs. It seems Dominion's LNG exports aren't a sweet deal after all. Well, Marylanders know that, and together they're fighting back. Maryland is at risk by something called Cove Point that will change our state if it's built, and Maryland has an enormous responsibility and an opportunity to go in a different direction. Building this plant will endanger the safety and health of all residents near Cove Point. Dominion bombards our community daily with their high-priced ads because they knew if the public really understood this project that we would oppose it. Cove Point would also increase fracking and the build out of pipeline and compressor stations in the entire region. And that's why our neighbors from Virginia, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York, and New Jersey are standing here united with us in this fight. That's what they plan to do. They sent, plan to send the filthy frack gas that they frack in my state into your state. In support of that system, Dominion Transmission Inc., an affiliate of Dominion Cove Point, has proposed to build an oversized 16,000 horsepower gas compressor station at the gateway of my community and less than a mile from my elementary school. And so when you say no to Cove Point, as you're doing so brilliantly, you are saying no on behalf of yourselves, on behalf of your communities, on behalf of your state and your natural resources. But when you say no to Cove Point, you're doing it for my state and our communities and our natural resources. $3.8 billion would increase East Coast wind capacity by 50%, creating more jobs for Maryland than Cove Point ever could. Help us keep Maryland on the path to a clean energy future. Help us stop Cove Point.